The Serious Hazards of Transfusion Hemovigilance Reporting Scheme receives about 3,500 reports of adverse incidents related to transfusion of blood components each year. While most of these are related to errors, some result in serious clinical complications. Pulmonary complications are the most common cause of death and serious harm from transfusion. The patient develops difficulty breathing, usually within six hours of transfusion, with evidence of pulmonary edema. These findings are most commonly due to a buildup of excess fluid in the circulation with leakage into the lungs by hydrostatic pressure. We call this transfusion-associated circulatory overload, abbreviated to TACO. The alternative and much less common diagnosis is transfusion-related acute lung injury, abbreviated to TRALI. This is caused by inflammation classically due to white cell antibodies in the transfused donor component reacting with recipient antigens. A chest X-ray cannot distinguish between TACO and TRALI. When the cause is unclear and cannot be attributed to either of these, a case is classified as transfusion-associated dyspnea, abbreviated to TAD. In the nine years from 2010 to 2018, there were 156 transfusion-related deaths, of which 81, that's 52%, were caused by pulmonary complications, most commonly TACO. TACO may present up to 24 hours after transfusion, but usually within 6 to 12 hours. In the same nine years, 65 out of 757 patients with TACO died, and an additional 246 out of 757 suffered serious complications. Together, these account for 41% of all cases of TACO. In 2019, the definitions of both TACO and TRALI were revised. At the bedside and on chest X-ray, it may be difficult to distinguish between them, and a patient could have both at the same time. If a patient has difficulty breathing, they need urgent attention with oxygen, a pause in the transfusion, and consideration of other rescue treatments including diuretics and possibly ventilation. TACO is much more common than TRALI. Increased reporting of TACO is likely due to better recognition of this complication. Following the observation that TRALI was associated with plasma-rich components, predominantly from female donors, in 2003 the blood services restricted fresh frozen plasma production to male donors. In addition, pooled platelets are resuspended in male plasma or more recently platelet additive solution, and female apheresis platelet donors are screened for white cell antibodies. Following this change of practice, SHOT has documented a significant reduction in both reported cases and deaths from TRALI. Most transfusions are needed in those over 60 years of age, who are also particularly vulnerable to TACO. Nearly 80% of all cases of TACO occur in this age group compared to half of all the other serious adverse reactions. However, TACO can occur at any age. It's important to carry out a risk assessment prior to transfusion. TACO can occur even with small volume transfusions in susceptible patients and is not always due to excessive transfusion. Risk factors include older age, low body weight, renal dysfunction, and low albumin levels. Patients should be risk assessed prior to transfusion using the TACO checklist, which can be found at shotuk.org. TACO is underdiagnosed. 
In 2017, a national audit of TACO in more than 4,000 transfused patients over 60 years of age showed that 89% had risk factors in addition to their age. The three most common additional risk factors were low albumin, additional IV fluids, and positive fluid balance. The key points to remember are, TACO is the most common cause of death and serious harm from transfusion. To reduce this risk, patients should be carefully reviewed prior to transfusion and also be given one unit at a time. In order to increase our understanding of the pulmonary complications, please continue to report all of them to SHOT even if you're uncertain which category they should be in. Further information can be found at shotuk.org forward slash resources forward slash current resources.